Hey guys, it's Miss Leonard. I hope you guys are doing good. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're making healthy choices. Um, and I hope you're, you're getting plenty of rest. Um, Miss Leonard has had a lot of trouble going to sleep these last few days. So I'm really tired out. Um, but we still got to learn. So this week, guys, we're going to be working on multiplication and division. So last week we were working on arrays. And we're going to continue working with arrays, but this time we're going to make division sentences. Okay, so let's start with this array here. Okay, so in this array, you can tell that there's three rows. Okay, so I'm going to make my row, uh, my number of rows, and I'm going to multiply it by the number of each row. So in each row, I can tell that I have one, two, three, four, five, six. And I can tell they're all the same because it's in a nice, pretty array. So three times six is going to give me 18. Okay. So now when we were younger and earlier this year, if you were with me, you practiced fact families. Okay. So I'm going to take this, this equation that I created using this array. And I'm going to make it into a division problem. Okay, so I know that in division, my total number is always first. Okay, so I know my 18 is going to be my total. So that goes first. And then I'm going to divide it. I took 18 pieces and I divided it into groups. So my group is a row, okay? So this row here is a group. This row here is another group. And this row here is another group. So I'm dividing by three, which is my number of rows. And now my answer is going to be how many I have inside each group or inside of each row which the only number I have not used in my in my equation from up above is 6. So if I take 18 and I divide it into groups of 3 or into I'm sorry, if I divide it into 3 groups, then each group will have 6. Okay? So this is our fact family equation. All right, let's try a different one. Okay, here is another example. Okay, now remember, hopefully in our brain, we're starting to see these arrays quickly. And here I can count that there's four columns, one, two, three, four. And I can tell that there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven rows. So those are going to be my two numbers. Okay, so I have seven rows and each row has four. So seven times four is 28. Okay, in your, in your Google Slides, you should have filled in your multiplication chart. Um, that's always good practice. Okay, make sure you're remembering your, your multiplication facts. And now I'm going to change this into a division equation. Now remember my total number always goes first when I'm dividing. So I know my total amount of jelly bean pieces. The total number of pieces in my array is 28. Ooh, that does not look like a 2. Okay, so 28. Okay. Now... I can divide by the number of columns or I can divide by the number of rows. It's up to you and sometimes it's up to the question and how the word problem is, 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 is worded. Okay, so now here I have, I can divide by seven rows because there's seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Or I can divide by four because there's four columns. Okay, I'm going to divide by rows like I did last time. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rows going across. 
So I'm going to divide by seven. So then that means the only number I have not used from up here is this one. So 28 divided by seven is four. Okay, let's try one last one together. All right, so here's my last array. Okay, now I'm immediately seeing that I have three columns, so three up and downs. And how many do I have going across from side to side? One, two, three, four, five. So I have five rows and each row has three. So I'm going to make that five times three is 15. Okay, so once again, I need to make my fact family. So my total goes first in my equation, which my total is 15. And I'm going to divide it by the number of rows. So I have rows, one, two, three, four, five rows. So I'm going to divide by five. And then my answer is going to be three. So if I have 15 jelly beans and I put them in five groups, I make five groups, each group is going to have three pieces. Okay. All right. Make sure you message me or call me if you have questions or if you're confused. So the reason why we're make, having this lesson is because sometimes word problems give you an array and they expect you to find the answer to a division problem. So an array can be multiplication or it can also help you solve division. All right. So I want you practicing that this week. All right. Best of luck.